To provide companies with your credentials, just upload them to your Snapdocs account. For security reasons, we're unable to accept documents via email, mail, or fax. So the only way to submit credentials is to upload them. When logged in to your account, you can access your credentials by clicking Credentials in the left-hand menu. On your credentials page, you can manage your documents and your Snapdocs verified status. You can upload different types of credentials, including a notary commission certificate, background check, E&O policy, notary bond, attorney bar card, and other licenses or certifications. You can also fill out your W-9 here. If there isn't a specific category for the credential you'd like to upload, you can always upload it as an additional credential. To upload a credential, locate the appropriate category of credential on the right side of the page and click on it. So currently, for me, I have a couple of credential types that I don't have a document uploaded for. For being Snapdocs verified, I'm missing e &O insurance and a notary bond. So I'm going to choose to upload my e &O insurance here. So I can either click on the Add button here under the Snapdocs Verified section, or I can also click on E&O Insurance under the Missing Credentials section. Doing either will bring up the E&O Insurance Upload form. To upload a credential, just fill out all the required fields in the form with the corresponding information that's on your credential. For e and insurance, this includes the company that I bought my insurance from, the policy number, the amount of e and insurance that I got, and the expiration date of the policy. And lastly, for most credentials, you'll be asked to attach a copy of it to submit for verification. So I'm just going to fill this out really quickly. After selecting a file to upload, if you have any additional files that you want to upload and submit under this specific credential, uh, so for me, for example, if I had more pages for my E&O policy, but they are split amongst different files, you should see the option to add another page. So just click on that and you should be able to select another file to upload and submit under this credential. So just to illustrate, I'm just going to add in another file and option to continue to add another page should appear once you've selected a file. Once you're done, just click the Save button. And if your credential has successfully been uploaded, it should appear on your credentials page. This is the one that I just uploaded uh, for my e &O insurance. And if it's a credential that contributes to your Snapdocs verified status, it will typically say pending right away. That's because the document has been submitted for verification and you will be notified uh, about the verification status soon. Verification can take up to a few days, but you should generally hear back pretty soon. If you'd like to add another of the same credential type or category, simply click on Manage next to the type of credential you'd like to add another document for. So for example, if I wanted to submit another e and insurance policy, I would just click Manage next to my current e and insurance that I have uploaded. A drop-down menu should appear with an option to add another document. Selecting that should bring up another upload form for you to fill out, uh, attach another file, and submit. If you'd like to delete an uploaded credential, just locate that credential and click on the Manage button. 
So for example, if I wanted to delete the e and insurance policy that I just uploaded, I would locate the e and insurance policy on my credentials page, click on manage, and then the same drop-down menu should appear and there is an option to delete document. So I'm gonna click on that. It'll ask you if you're sure that you wanna delete that document. If yes, just click confirm. If no, click cancel. I'm going to confirm. And if the document has been deleted and that was the only document that was submitted under, a, under the credential category, it should appear under your missing credentials.